and welcome to another video. We're about to go outside and work on a chicken run for the chickens. I'm going to share that with you. They're getting an upgrade. They're getting some more space, some extra space. But before we do that, we're going to make some ice cream. This is a new to us. My mama says it's delicious and I trust her. So we're going to see for ourselves though. We're going to try it out and I thought that I would share it with you. It's peach knee high and sweet and condensed milk. And it's supposedly the best ice cream there ever was. So let's try it out together. It's nothing. Oh yeah, I'll get you one. Audrey is putting in two cans of sweetened condensed milk. How many? Let's see. What is the uh, two 14 ounce cans? And it, I think the original recipe is a two liter of peach knee high, but we could not find one anywhere. So we're just going to fill it with the cans of peach knee high until we get to the fill line. Oh yeah, I bet they did. You get the rest. Mm -hmm. You want to mix it a little bit to see if you can get the sweet in it. Yep. to work on this chicken run I've had people ask before what we you know what our thoughts are on these metal chicken runs and how they've worked for us we like them a lot we've got this bigger one here that these chickens are in there's a smaller one back here that the I am Samani chickens are in they've worked really well for us I'll show you how we've secured them um, but we're actually gonna take this one and add it to this one and probably open up a space so that the chickens can get back and forth um, and give them more space. <laughs> Add these chickens in with those and let everybody start getting used to each other. Are you just, are we gonna put them side by side for now and then eventually open them up to each other? So let me show you how we've secured this and then we're gonna get to work putting this one together. 
this T post is in the ground and then some of these heavy duty zip ties attach this metal frame to the T post. We get some pretty pretty windy storms and this hasn't gone anywhere. Now before we put the T post in, uh, we actually had a storm that came through and lifted this thing. It got underneath underneath the tarps. We had two tarps on it at the time and it got underneath it and lifted it up in the trees. But after we secured it with a T post, it's not moved. Uh, we also have the coop like sitting on top of the back metal run that goes across the ground and I'm sure that helps as well but this has not moved since we secured it. This chicken run came from Vivor. Y'all have heard me talk about them before. We have several tools and different things that we use around our homestead from Vivor and they've all worked really well for us. So I wanted to let you know that I will have a link for this down in the description box. You can go check it out. And I suggest that you check out Vivor if you have things that you're needing around your home or your homestead tools or different things like that. Make sure you go give them a look because you might be surprised at what you can find for the price. And everything has always been good quality, fast shipping, and good customer service. So a link will be down in the description box for you. didn't actually like the motor didn't cut off it's more of a softer texture but oh my the color doesn't even show up on here like it is it is so pretty mm. and it's really good are you gonna take that over to grand and papa d yeah. you like it it's a good peach flavor without being too much right it's good it's the next day. We worked on this yesterday and then when our ice cream finished up, we went in and we had some ice cream, which was delicious. One of my new favorite ice cream recipes. As a matter of fact, when I go in from working on this some more right now, I'm probably going to have some more of it. We put the, the rest in the freezer and I'm probably going to have some more because it was so good. So good. And then after that, it started raining. So we didn't work on this anymore yesterday afternoon. So I'm going to work on it some now. And then when Justin gets home, he'll help me out too. And we'll finish this up today. Wyatt is out here. He's looking at the baby chicks right now. I brought him some toys. And I'm hoping that he'll sit here and play while I work. We'll see. Are you talking to the babies? Mm -hmm. Baby chick chicks. It was a little cool this morning when I came outside. And I put this sweatshirt on, sweater on. I think I'm gonna be regretting that when I start working. It's it's warmed up out here.
is complete. Justin helped me finish it up when he got home from work last night. I did the sides and the top yesterday and then he helped me with the front and the back and helped me get the tarp on and now it's ready for some chickens. We're gonna scoot it over next to this other coop that I showed you. Put these chickens here in it. We're gonna put the coop that they've been using underneath the tarp and they will have so much more space in here. We do let the chickens out every day when we're outside with them, but because of hawks and things that we have in the area, we usually only let them out if we're out here with them. And this will be nice covered protection, but still give them plenty of room. Something that I like about this run that our other does not have is this split door. So I can open just the top or just the bottom. If I come out with kitchen scraps or something, I can open the top and throw that in. Or I can just open the bottom and let them run out so I really like this split door and if you don't need to run this size they have other sizes available as well we're gonna put the chickens in this just on the grass for now but in a week or so we'll add pine um, pine straw and wood chips and start a deep litter method in this coop we've already been doing that over here and our chickens have been giving us some really great compost so we'll do that in this one as well and once we get this moved over, we'll also secure this with a T-post like I showed you earlier. The only other thing that I want to do as far as the structure of this goes is I'm going to get some heavier duty zip ties to add to it. I meant to do that before we started and I forgot. But I'm going to get some heavier duty zip ties and go back and add those on here as well for some extra security. The ones that come with it. I mean, they, they work, but they're pretty thin, and especially if you have it sitting out in the sun, I don't know how long they would last. So we're going to go ahead and add some extra heavier duty zip ties. It took us about three hours total, maybe a little bit more, to put this together, but we worked on it an hour here, an hour there. So three hours, maybe a little bit more to have this all put together. And I hope this was helpful for you seeing how we do this and how long it took us, uh, because like I said, I've had a few people ask, what do you think about those chicken runs? And I thought this would be a really great opportunity to tell you what we like about them, some things that we adjust and change, like those heavier duty zip ties, and let you see kind of how it all comes together. And y'all don't forget, don't forget about that ice cream recipe. That has been, I, I think that may be my new favorite. We'll be making that a lot this summer and if you try it out make sure you let me know we love you we appreciate you we'll see you in the next one bye y'all